Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Magic Arena and today we are taking a break from Decathlon uh, forever. Bas basically I'm kind I basically it's no longer good for my mental health to to do to, to do any of the Decathlon events anymore. I will do an I will do a historic a historic event, just the usual historic event, the one where you pay 500 gold just to test out a particular deck concept, but I'm not going to keep throwing I'm not gonna throw good money after bad at this point anymore. At this point, um, as as of this viewing, um, there's probably like four events left. The odds of me winning any three of them. Okay, my best shot probably would have been historic, but take note: the next one that, the one beside it is Singleton, really high variance. Um, on the edge, that one is a probably good shot, but the af the next one after that is, um, Turbo Draft, which relatively soft, but again also kind of high variance as well. Um, your best shot is to do it early against people who don't know what they're doing. But otherwise, I'm, I'm only, I'm probably gonna get two realistically at best, and that's even, and that's already combining a dose of wishful thinking. So, I, so I'm probably not gonna pursue the decathlon. And also, because every time I go through this, um, you notice that I just keep getting more and more exasperated, more and more annoyed. So it's, and I think some, and some people might have noticed it already. So and I I think at that point you know what, let let's give it a break, let let's forget all about it. I kind of wish I just didn't bother at all, but sometimes you just have to experience it firsthand. Anyway, something that we do have experience firsthand is the one for all event. Pretty much the only thing that has changed, um, since its first shot at Midnight Hunt was the addition of Crimson Vow. Not much was added here, and the addition of Alchemy. That one we had some a few we have a few additions. So. I won't go over, necessarily go over what I removed, but I'll go over what I added. Um, primarily, what we added was um, Geist Chandler, um, base, a way to get a way to get a good number of our spells cheaper. Every man, every man accounts pretty much for this event. It's in the way this deck works, so getting so, getting something to cost cheaper is quite relevant here. We also added an unexpected conversion. It's a way to draw cards get rid of a card and seek another card so we're functionally drawing three cards which is pretty which is which is pretty good i and i also add and i also added originally i i took it out but then i noticed i still left the sideboard there so i added in again mastermind's acquisition and fey of wishes um the notable cards there are pretty much the omen of the dead in case our tasas oracle gets binned in the gets put in the graveyard Agadim's Awakening, pretty much the same thing. Pact of Negation, if we feel like we need to protect the combo, this one's less likely. Into the Royal, just in case. Sorcerer's Spyglass against certain decks, not so sure, but it does give us an... But the look at your opponent's hand is probably the most important part. Ritual Soot, just an emergency extra board wipe. But for the most part, the deck is pretty much functional as is. I could have added Break Expectations, but we... Pretty much have a good number of um hand attack between Totsi's Inquisition, Tot Erasure, and Agonizing Remorse. I guess if I were to cut one of the two mana ones, I could replace it with th with that. Also note that um we added the Forsaken Crossroads because um we're not always gonna go first, so ha having the option to have um land enter ETB untapped is quite good. I also noticed that um a lot of the people playing playing this particular event if they can't get their if they can't get their thing rolling immediately, they tend to just concede right away. Not so sure if that's always gonna happen, but um, it does mean we can. We don't. We don't necessarily have to keep a hand with the combo. In fact, it might be. It might be better not to have one with the combo right away. You're better off with one with the tutors, but not the combo itself. So the counter spell is the weakest one here. Because we can't actually cast it. But we do get um but we do get Mindstone immediately. We can do Wish Claw Talisman, but also we are missing removal actually, so we are kinda leaning on our tutors. So we have a tyrant scorn as removal if we need to. So 
So we're gonna shoot her right away for the taint, tainted path. No, no, we're gonna shoot her right away for the Tassus Oracle, excuse me. Then you solve the equation for the tainted path, but we still need to draw map. Let's see what our opponent has. Steal the champion. Okay, so it's just super aggro. Yeah, we missed a land drop there. I can go Tyrant Scorn just to just to bounce this and problem is if I cast Wish Claw Talisman, I won't be able to do that. I can go solve the equation for the Tainted Pack, but again, I'm also missing the second... The, the second blue mana. But it looks like our opponent doesn't exactly... Yeah, you know what? We'll get the Shipwreck Marsh. That gives us a live Counterspell and or Tyrant Scorn. The next turn we... But most likely what we do is we... Oh yeah, we should bring the deck, deck list up. Opponent might just be doing Mono Green. We do have a... Actually, we have all three... We, no, we don't have all the pieces. We're still missing the Tainted Pack, but we do have a backup in Jace. If, uh, somehow our opponent has a hand attack. I could return it, but I'm basically just making them waste their time. Like... Uh, though again, we can't use Counterspell unless we hit another blue source. That's the caveat here. We can solve if opponent just recasts again, that's expected. If they go Wish Claw Talisman, they're not going for the Wish Claw Talisman. So what we can do is we can actually just solve the equation now for the Tainted Pack. Hold up Baleful Mastery. Only because our life total is so out of danger. Also nice thing that this is an instant as well. Shifting Ceratop, so we are taking quite a bit of a hit. We can't counter that, but... That was never our goal anyway. Our goal was to snipe the Steel Leaf Champion. Have a card. <clears throat> and also for those wondering, um, how does the timer work here? Turns out there's plenty of time if you're very quick on what you're doing. Turn off the full control. So put the card in hand, decline, 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 decline. This is a bad time to have your mouse die, actually. I should also try to start looking up what's the shortcut for decline. We've just educated our opponent on what it means to get hit by the Tainted Pack. They're probably su suspecting that it's going to take a while, but my experience has been that um, there's been plenty of time to decline everything and get your library down to zero. I'm not going to bother looking at how many cards we have left. I probably should have started counting the clicks, actually.
And as you can see, the timer hasn't even started yet. I've heard that um, if ever you take too long for one reason or another, it just pretty much auto-declines the whole deck. And there we go. That That's it. Um, textbook def um, textbook illustration on how the combo works. Um, usually all the other cards either dig dig through your deck protect or protect you. Pretty much one of those two. That said, I will admit that our mana base can be sketchy at, at, at times, but um, it's nice to be able to play something that's rel relatively familiar. I, I've seen some people suggest... Um, nice and dying mouth. Oh, actually, not pretty nice. Um, suggesting other decks, but Someone gave a point out, if you, in a format where nothing is banned, what, what, why would you play anything other than the Tainted Pack combo? And frankly, I kind of agree. Pretty much the, um, the real meta against the Tainted Pack combo is hand attack or name a card, or name a card. So we should be expecting people to start running things like Necromancia and whatnot. Opponent does get to go first, but we will probably just run the. Looks like green is the favorite color. Now we can play this untapped, so we're gonna sack this for a blue source. See what our opponent's follow up is. We have quite a few choices between Remorse, Inquisition, and Cause Select. If our opponent's not playing any level of control, as demonstrated here, we can. We do have Doomblade. Harpooner. This might be someone's regular singleton deck. Someone might have forgotten the mem. Someone might have forgotten the memo. So Forsaken Crossroads, namely Black. The nice thing about this is you can untap it. So we will go for. We will go for the Agonizing Remorse. See what they have. So Boreal Outrider, Spirit of the Elder Guard, so probably take out the Outrider because the Trashing Brontodon Because at least the because the Outrider makes all the threats relatively bigger, the So the problem now is we are stuck on mana. Oh, oh there's a dark ritual. It gives us Doomblade and Omen of the Sea. So we'll see what our opponent does with this. No, but that said, we are still we are still in relative danger here. Scry 2, we definitely want the Watery Grave. Consider not so... Consider is actually kind of fine, but we're, all, we're gonna end up drawing that. No, we kind of want to draw into lands. So we'll bin that to the bottom. Opponent gets a free shot at the Spirit of the Elder Guard. Bad, bad, bad breaks for us. We do get Inquisition into something. We might want to hold up the counter spell too. I will admit that we did keep a really bad hand though, so it, we did have early control elements, but um, the timing was just somewhat off here. So we're actually going to go down to half-life and we're going to go even lower than that, so this might be the one deck that is fast enough to wreck us. And I'm already thinking in my head, yeah, pretty much the, our only good removal here would be language. Oh, there's, a, there's a shooter. That's, So we're gonna see what do they have. Vivian Reed. So they can cast this to buff up. So I have no choice but to hold up the counter spell. We will be taking eight, going down to three. So yeah, we might we're still gonna lose this one, I guess. Yeah, we can 
So it's not perfect. You have you still you still have to be smart about the hands you keep. Yeah, and miss, missing that one land drop did hurt us a bit too. So, problem is... We could shoot her for a land, but um, that does nothing. And let's see, put one in your hand. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's good game. We, we could have... Um, things that improve our odds here would be things like, um, say, a, sla a slaughter pack. We have Pact of Negation. Sla slaughter pack would have, would have been a really nice addition. We would have been able to snipe one creature. Um, but yeah, it does it does show that um, you you want to have more. How could we have improved that matchup? One, we could have played. We could have played the Forsaken Crossroads first. Hit them with the Inquisition of Kozilek. That would um, delay their Kral Harpooner. That's basic, basically giving us a time walk. We would then be able to... We would be skipping one turn. Yeah, we were kind of hoping to hit a land. We never did, so... Pro prob Considering all the luck I have in Decathlon, maybe I should stop hoping and just play with what I know. Play with what I have. And all of a sudden, the game gives us the same issue. So we do get to go first. We do kind of have the combo. We are just missing a lot of lands. We do have an op though. So it's basically evolving wild search. Evolving wild search for an island. We need basically two islands. And now here's the part that's dangerous. Our opponent has a hive tyrant. Thankfully, no. Do have a dismal backwater a castle knocking both practically the same because if our opponent hits the tasas oracle we will be forced to dig for i actually will take the sensor because our opponent could be playing full control though well the sensor turned out to be not so great since we have the taught erasure Gives us an idea. What does our opponent have? Ooh, the divide by zero is bad. Zarat's son does kind of nothing. Deliberate Graven Lore. We'll take the counter spell. We have an unexpected conversion which we can use to kill a kill a bad sensor. But we we do need land, so I'm actually gonna just bin bin that one. We hit the Juka box, so we can. S mm. Let's we'll play the Bajuka box. Let's get our mana going. So we basically have two counters. I, again, I could just go solve the equation for the tainted pack, but. Our opponent has quite the. F well, these are instants actually. In fact, it looks like everything's an instant, so. Hmm. I think our best bet is to humor our opponent. Let's play the Wish Claw Talisman. Because we're never gonna get. Like, I can shoot her for Pact. We have, yeah, because we technically have the lands. Like, I can shoot her for Pact right now, but if our opponent happens to have a way to nuke our hand, so far it doesn't look like they do. Yeah, the other issue is, because I think what I do is I take Jace. Oh, wow, we don't have the mana. I, I, I goofed up. That, and it turned out to just be a Behold the Multiverse. So is our opponent really going to just beat us with Zarat San? That is a plan. It's an interesting one at that. So ideally, the play is to land the Jace first to eat the... Oh, it looks like our opponent might be stuck in lands also. Nope, they hit their land. They could Wish Claw into a harder counter spell. Yeah, this being a sorcery is a, is a big dud for us.
Because usually Lutri is for getting the second part of the combo, but it looks like we have it already. So opponent's just gonna deliberate. We're going to let that slide. I might end up casting the Supreme Will to look at the top four cards. That's probably the other best use of this. If it makes our opponent counter, so be it. So, Totsis counter spell. Definitely want to take the Totsis. Need to see if our need to see if the coast is clear. Set. Probably should discard the sensor actually. We, that was probably gonna be so irrelevant. Oh, the DT is good. When it goes Graven Lore, so they're going to draw cards right away. Which is very weird. Normally what when they bin for in the bottom, they draw a tree. So we will have plenty of choice on what to take. So Zaret, Kindred. We need to snipe the counter spell, so Kindred Denial. We know there's a DT on top. We also know that they have removal. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do multiple threats. We're gonna play the Baleful Mastery f just to make just to make them fire off the... Play Jace to make them fire off the Baleful Mastery. Okay, nope. Looks like they're digging for a counter. So, all of a sudden, this this setup not so great. What we can also do is we can cap, um, put Lutri in hand. So, if our opponent counters the Tainted Pack, we can copy in response. We can force them to have... We can force them to have two counter spells. But I think our better bet is to play Jace first. One in thinking that they can go full control, which is quite reasonable. If I can tempt them to cast something, which is... No, they just discarded the land, so we're not going to get them to cast anything. So knowing that... We're just going to put Lutri in hand. Only can cast the Zaret Sun, which we actually have a sensor for. So there's there goes that one. They might have another way to win. But they but they are very aware of the pack combo already at this point. Basically, we're doing this to get the land, which is super feel bad, but we kind of have to. Yeah, they're just going to hold up remove removal, which is an issue. I don't know if they have counters. So far, it's been all card draw. Let's cast the Jace first. Let's let's make them use counters one by one. Wash away. So that's one counter down. It also means they can't discover the formula. So there are two unknown cards which could be a counter. Hellbreaker Horror, which we can't counter, but we can bounce. So this has just been Hellbreaker Horror Control.
So we'll see if this resolves. We'll give our opponent first shot. Also because there's no point um discover the formula, so to, it will return the spell. And put three cards in hand. So this is where we copy the Tyrant Scorn. They might have another spell, but the, the main point is we want to tap them out. If we can get them to tap out, it's perfect. Oh, that's a mistake! Okay, so it bounces everything, but that's all their cards. Okay, we take... So my real fear now is packed with negation, but I might have to go I might have to go for it anyway. There's an eliminate, so let's see, do they have the pact of negation? No, they don't. Ah, yeah, they, they never saw the Tassa's Oracle, so they were probably waiting for me to tutor it. They didn't realize I had it in hand. It's, if anything, it demonstrates that you really want to have hand attack. Black is probably going to be the most... Our opponent wisely determined that black is the most important color. They just didn't have the other cards. They, but um, they were using it mostly for creature removal. So, yeah, the more you know, guys, the more you know. Anyway, we do have... Yeah, it's only been 27 minutes. Let's get about two more games in. If only to make me feel better after throwing away so, throwing away so much. Yeah, at least some... If anything, I would like that future events... No, you know what? I, I'm, I'm not going to force, my, force what I like. I, basically, if I see any future events with a really bad payout, I'm just going to sit it out next time. There is a difference between an event with a D and even the okay. So, Tot sees we can dark ritual for an acquisition. We we can mind stone for the time being. So we are gonna keep this. Opponent playing control. So frostbite. Actually, quite relevant because um, if we go for if we go for Tasa's Oracle, opponent can snipe with that. The other cards not so much, so we'll take the Frostbite. Everything else seems to be a bit of a ways away. They will foretell that. Ooh, we actually have options here. So, yeah, I can't snipe anything. Maybe I should have sniped something bigger there. But we do have memory lapse back up. We can just ma ma Oh, se 7 mana to Mastermind's Acquisition. That would be really nice. Opponent's most likely gonna just draw cards, so... I'm gonna have to let that go. We got the Forsaken Crossroads. Probably go for the scry. There we go, DT. The thing is, our opponent's about to draw cards, so... Yeah, I should probably should just cast the Lutri. Have it in hand. Because our opponent could easily have counters now. Though what I can probably do instead is wait for our opponent to tap out a bit because some um, they do they are playing large threats okay no expressive iteration is into den of the bugbear so oh it's etb's tap
So we are gonna go. We are gonna go for the DT. Um, do, do the demonic shooter first. Go for the Oracle. Just need to check that, yeah, we can counter that. Opponent is holding. If opponent holds, we probably just ship shipwreck Marsh. So we can Mastermind's Acquisition and... So we have two choices. We can Mastermind's Acquisition, me Memory Lapse Backup. Or we can get Lutri, the Spell Chaser. Hope to hit another... Let's just put Lutri in hand first. So the plan is um, Lutri, the Spell Chaser. Use it as a way to d double up either Mastermind's Acquisition if we hit the... If we hit the land or... Me say double up a Memory Lapse or something. Unexpected windfall. Are they going to go for the turns? Also note that this can copy only a spell I control, so we can't pirate their unexpected windfall. This is eight mana. So they could easily they could conceivably go for two turns back to back. They probably want to go for a dragon first. Smoldering egg is fine. We did hit the land. So we're gonna resolve this first. Let's put in the ball in our opponent's court. They could have double counter, but um Okay, they're gonna let us take it. So we take the tainted pack. But now we have some complicated math to do. We need we need both enough mana to We need both en enough mana to cast Tassus Oracle, Tainted Pact, and prob and potentially protect with memory lapse. We the Lutri is not gonna do much here unless we can somehow convince our opponent to tap out for Imrit, which feels like a long shot. Their hand is full, it's most likely instants and sorceries. They could also have the combo in hand, which means we will be taking four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We would be down to six. Opponent goes Celestis. They one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They don't necessarily have the combo. Key to the archive. I think that should be. That should be enough to protect. That should be enough to protect with memory lapse. When it discards the upgrade. So we have a Jawari disruption also, but that's probably not gonna happen. That's correct. Oh, they don't have they don't have a counter. Okay, now let's sit back and relax. We actually went through this, so this should be a bit faster. Our opponent could be waiting to kill Tasa's Oracle, but we do have we do have the counter. I'll be I'll be surprised if our opponent turns out to have more than one counter like a pact of negation would ru just ruin our day nope opponent does not so they so so they conceded Woo -hoo. we should probably wait we have a pact of negation it's in our sideboard mastermind's acquisition if we had more of the combo pieces earlier we would have used mask up um we would have used the pack the mastermind's acquisition to get us a pact of negation
cool. Yeah, let's do one more. Let's um. So I I will admit that um. I would admit that the deck is still quite solid. In fact, I would say that the deck got slightly. No, basically the threats are. The threats are now worse for the deck in the sense that more people are aware of counters, so we have to play accordingly. But if the our first match was any indication, there are still there are still people who play, um, who play straight aggro decks, and to be fair, we did die to one of them. So, well, this is all blue. Super sketchy because we would be using Shimmer possibility to draw a, bl a black source. One is playing Lura, so this is probably the other way. Well, we hit our black source anyway. So turn two. So turn two. Hold up, Juari disruption. We can. Especially if the, no, they they can't untap. We, we, we they went first. Oh, this might also be the same thing. So the concern now is because we tapped out, we 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 opened ourselves up to a Totsies. No, they're going Grim Shooter. Okay. Oh wow, we used up our counter spell. That was the mistake. Not for the Grim Shooter, but because if they have top, if they have the Oracle or in hand. They just need, and if they have one of the two pieces in hand, it's over for us. We needed that counter spell because I'll be forced to tap out for solve the equation. Basically, it's um who can fire their shot first. Um, Lurus is a wi Yeah, let's go for it. Let's make sure we get the Tainted Pack. Now let's see if they have the combo. Yeah, Lurus is the other version of this deck. They might have it. So let's prepare our good game. No, Wishclaw Talisman, they don't have it yet. But now the thing that scares me is oh I should have played it for blue then. The thing that scares me is dude well they did they're trying to represent a one mana counter spell. But most of the deck lists I see do not run spell pierce or concerted effort. So you know what? Let's go for it. Do they have it? No, they don't. So now the game truly big. Now they could have a bounce spell, but um because but even if they bounce Tasa's Oracle, it'll be too late because we are aiming to bring our library all the way down to zero. So fading hope does not work in this case. It would need to be a stifle. Oh wow, wait, wait. There is a stifle. So we might have played into our opponent. We'll see. Yeah, because if they have a stifle, we not now we wish that we put them Pact of Negation main. It would mean I would have had to delay things a bit. Like if I wanted to play safely, I would have set the for Forsaken Crossroads to blue, just play Jace. Have my backup that way. So if our opponent were to somehow combo the counter the combo next turn, they But we kind of have to go for this. I would have been more sure if our opponent had the Wish Claw Talisman, but no. There we go. So let's see, do they have... 
There's no one mana cre count creature counter. Dark Ritual. Oh, that's not gonna do it. Because, um, let's say you kill this, the trigger is already on the stack. You need the blue mana. They're going taint. They're going for their own tainted pack. Oh. You're, and I think our opponent's not fam familiar with this. They might have pressed the. They might have pressed take action instead of decline. You were supposed to decline if you're going all the way to the end, but. Yeah, there there is no good. Well, we have Fatal Push as an option that would have been able to kill it, but it would not have killed the trigger. So, yeah, even even though it's a sure, it's a it's a it's a very sure deck list plus minus about five to ten cards. What is not, but what is not sure is you need the experience to be able to play this deck. You can't just, you you need to take the time to experience experience it. That said, this is midweek magic. You do, don't have to pay to enter this event. This is probably the best time to pr practice this one. So, yeah, use this time to learn, learn, learn the ropes. Um, learn how things, things work out. And I still, and yeah, I still think taint. Um, I still think tainted pack is the best if you are not going for all aggro. That said, if I were to do aggro, I probably would go ag aggro splash blue. Rogues is a very good. Rogues would be a decent option if, if it had a bit. If if it had the bigger de creature density for in singleton, yeah, mill would actually be a decent option. Because um, with enough with enough mill, you could, yeah, you make it faster for the tainted pack, but um, you can also incidentally wreck the combo. Like there are only a few cards that get cards back from the yard, and most of them are focused on getting the Tassus Oracle. They won't get back the backup Jace. They usually will not get back the. Um, there, and it's only Mystic Sanctuary that can get back the Tainted Pact if ever. So there, there we go. That's going to be it for this episode of the Magic Arena Run. If you like what you saw, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. T turn on notifications and whatnot. Yes, I will admit that this is uh, that I will admit that this is pretty much more of a primer rather than a brand new deck list. But I'll be honest, I, I'm 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 quite tired right now. The year is about to end. Give me a break, I guess. So, and that said, I do wish all of you guys a great rest of the year and a, and a great next year to come as well. So, take care, stay safe, God bless, have a, yeah, have a great next few days, guys.